After two weeks in Charleston, it was time to say goodbye. It's been fun, interesting and warm. This is the first time that it's too warm. Uh, and now we're quite far up north compared to the Caribbean. But it's so humid and it's the, there's no wind. And I'm back fixing. Yeah, I've got some salt water in my USB, so I have to change that. And I'm also going to install the, the light on there. The water in the bay was full of silt and small creatures, so we didn't want to go swimming there. We decided to take our bikes to Folle Beach outside the bay to cool down in the ocean. It was a long ride and we hadn't used the bikes for many months, so we had to stop and buy new saddles. All bike stores were totally sold out because of all the gyms and recreational parks have been closed due to the corona. Why are all the boats except Svea pointing at one direction? It seems uh, that we have got the uh, anchor chain between, uh, between the keel and the rudder, so we are uh, not following this stream. It's tricky here because we, uh, uh, we turn around twice a day with the tide. It doesn't matter which way the uh, the uh, uh, wind blows. So now we are. The wind goes one direction from starboard, and then uh, the um, tide comes from another direction. Uh, so we have to try to push the boat somehow. Let's see how it goes. It worked out. The only sign of the incident is some of the bottom paint ended up on the anchor chain. So now we have a nice blue chain. Now we are in Georgetown, South Carolina. Yeah, we got the recommendation to come here from a boat neighbor uh, and uh, it was pretty, he said, and it was a free dock and everything that is free. <laughs> <laughs> we grab it. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, it was too shallow, so we didn't dare to go there. No, so we had to drop anchor just outside. It was very short uh, dinghy tour to the to the harbor walk. So yeah, yeah, it was uh, right between a paper mill and a steel plant. So 
the most beautiful anchorage you can imagine. <laughs> yeah. So we felt like home uh, when we felt the smell of the uh, the paper mill. Yeah, you know, Hudiksvall and Örnsköldsvik is... Yeah. Where we come from, it's uh, two big paper mill uh, towns. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we had guests with us from Charleston to um, Georgetown. It was Kerry and Rob. Yeah. And they did a good job because it was a full day. It was like 75. Oh, 80, 77 actually. 77 <laughs> nautical miles. Yes. And uh, we... Um, it was a full day and very rough sea. Yeah. Yeah. So good to have company. Yeah, it's nice to have guests on board. Yeah. Town. It's a nice boardwalk here. Yeah. So there are six different museums. Uh, one is the Maritime Museum, and another is the Rice Museum. And um, there's an African Culture Museum. They say here in Georgetown that this is the first, where the first white man landed back in 1529 or something like that. Now we're going to explore Georgetown. There are a lot of wildlife here with birds, raccoons and alligators. No more swimming around the boat. the Dingy shore and uh, it is a very pretty town we really enjoy yeah. walking in the uh, among the houses because it's first of all it's uh, like uh, there's a no block houses no exactly it's villas yeah. everywhere and so colorful and then these oaks they um, they are all over the street. The branches go across the street, so it's like walking in a green tunnel. Yes, it's and really the, beautiful. And with the porches, and yeah, it's a very, we enjoy it very and much. I can say like 95% of the houses have a porch. Yeah, with rocking, rocking chairs. Yes. So it's so what pretty. you expect yeah. of the, yeah, the southern states. I've taught her you want to. Yeah. Everybody knows what that is. It's short for do you want to. Yeah. We just say you want to. You want to, yeah. Now I'm standing under a live oak. As you can see, it grows even on it. But uh, the thing that's very special with live oaks is that it never loses its leaves. It just comes new ones. And when the new ones arrive, the old ones rips off. So it's never like our tree's home in Sweden, that it loses its leaves and get all brown. And it's so nice with the... Yeah, it feels like you're in the jungle, but yeah. you're in the middle of the town. The whole way since we actually arrived to Georgia, we have seen all those shrimps boats coming out of sea and going in. But we have, haven't have seen anybody who sells local shrimps. We tried to get it in Charleston, yeah. but we found from Florida. It's pretty local, but not really. Yeah. But here we found it, a shrimp dock. Exactly. So we bought shrimps, a lot of shrimps. Yeah, and you could choose nice. from... Small with heads, small without heads, medium with heads, medium without heads, up to jumbo. <laughs> yeah, and the jumbo, they were like a large sausage. Or like a small lobster, I could say. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. a cucumber. outside Georgetown, just in the inlet um, from the Atlantic Sea, because it was a nature reserve area. Yeah, it's uh, where Georgetown Lighthouse is. Yeah, 
Mm. And when we see a nature reserve, for us it's like, oh, that's a pretty place to take a walk. So we did. Uh, Unfortunately, here is more like protected area, so no one can be in the reserve. There were some turtles yeah, they special, protected. Yeah, some kind of a piece of a turtle it was. Yeah. I don't remember which kind it was. Yeah. But yeah. We took a walk and uh, we didn't know it was forbidden. So sorry. Sorry, your honor. Yeah. Uh, but we had a nice walk on the beach. A really nice. We walked for like two and a half hour. Yeah. It was really nice. And uh, it was... Uh, yeah, really beautiful. Lots of shells on this beach, and it felt like you were walking in a white beach in northern Sweden. Yeah, mm. almost. Almost, except for the palm trees. Yeah. <laughs> and we, uh, when we came closer to the boat, we saw a, a huge uh, footpath. Yeah, from a from a big animal. I at first thought it was a big dog, but we didn't see any human tracks uh, <laughs> so we uh, uh, then we looked it up and probably a coyote or something like that a coyote or maybe a bobcat yeah, but we, we can, don't know we so if you see. recognize the footsteps these the footsteps yeah please tell us what kind of animal it is yeah but we hurried back to the dinghy <laughs> and uh, went back to the yeah. to Svea. Yeah. last day uh, we had have had a low pressure, so quite a lot of rain and not that warm. Uh, still shorts and t-shirts, but it's been nice. But the wind has been really strong in the wrong direction, so we've actually been waiting uh, to uh, have better winds. Yeah. 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 So now we're heading north to Chesapeake Bay. So unfortunately, we can't go the intercoastal way because of the high flooding. So. We can't go under the bridges. Yeah, it's the water is like two or three feet above uh, standard yeah. height, uh, so we can't come under the bridges. So we go outside, but we are not too sad about that. No. So did you like this episode? Don't forget to, to like and subscribe. Exactly.